right. Yeah. What did you do to the car? That's information I will share with you under certain conditions only. In this day modern day technology, the automotive systems have become more complex, with intertwined internal components that propels our vehicles to drive faster, shift faster. The introduction of ECM and different control module has become a game changer that relies on a piece of component that actuate these functions. These systems have arrays of sensors and actuators that transforms our automotive systems into incredible piece of engineering. Without this component, we will still be stuck in back in old systems of stick shift technology. Hello there, I am Dr. Cool Auto Fix. In today's video, I will be teaching you top 12 symptoms of bad fuel rail pressure sensor, commonly known as a fuel pressure sensor, is used in many diesels and some gasoline engines. This sensor is usually located near the middle of the fuel rail and is linked to the engine control unit, ECU, which is the central computer of a vehicle. It shouldn't be confused with the fuel tank pressure sensor which is located inside or on top of the fuel tank. So what happens when the fuel rail pressure sensor goes bad and how will you know? Well, be my guest, keep watching and listen well, to see what a fuel pressure sensor does and common symptoms to look for with a faulty fuel pressure sensor. What does a fuel pressure sensor do? The primary purpose of this sensor is to keep track of the fuel pressure within the fuel rail. As this sensor detects this information, it transmits the data back to the engine control unit. The computer will analyze the data and make the necessary changes to the ignition timing of the engine, fuel injection's pulse width and the quantity of the fuel being injected. This allows for optimal engine performance for the current driving conditions. The engine control unit will specify the correct amount of fuel that the engine needs based on the data being fed to it by this sensor. As wrong information from this sensor can mess with the air-fuel ratio, which will affect the fuel economy. Not only that, but the lifespan of emissions-related parts decreases, and excess carbon emissions are expelled into the atmosphere. Since most vehicles on the road today are made to be as environmentally friendly as possible, this makes the fuel rail pressure sensor a vital component that must remain functional at all times. Here are some details to watch out for so you know if you are dealing with a bad sensor. 1. Check engine light. The most obvious sign that something is wrong with your car is the check engine light. You may see this warning sign before there are any symptoms at all. However, the indicator light can be the only way to determine that the fuel rail pressure sensor is bad. The light comes on because the electronic control unit ECU, triggers a warning once the fuel air ratio is unbalanced or because the reading pressure is too low. With a bad reading from the fuel pressure sensor, the codes try to alert you to the problem. 2. Hard starting or no start. To get the motor running, the ECU tells the fuel system to send a burst of gasoline to the cylinders. If the fuel rail sensor is bad, the correct amount of pressure may not reach the cylinders, leading to trouble starting the engine. Sometimes, the engine will crank a few times before finally starting. At any time, though, it could fail to start, leaving you stranded wherever you are. That's why it's important to pay attention to early symptoms and have the sensor replaced before you end up in a dangerous situation. 3. Poor engine performance. When the fuel rail pressure sensor begins to fail, there's going to be a loss of power. Even when you push down hard on the accelerator pedal, the car may not seem to respond quickly. To keep up, the system should send more fuel to mix with the air in the cylinders based on how hard you pushed on the pedal, but it doesn't because of the malfunction. Continuing to run your vehicle lean, without enough fuel, can lead to serious engine damage. That's why you should have this problem looked at as soon as you can. 4. Limp Mode Auto manufacturers build the vehicle with a limp mode system. This failsafe provides security to the engine and transmission. If something seems wrong with the motor, limp mode is activated to get your attention and prevent further damage. By restricting the full engine power. While the car is in limp mode, you may not be able to get it to shift into a higher gear. In most cars, it remains stuck in second gear. This also means you won't be able to drive fast, which can be a problem if it happens while you are on the highway. 5. Car starts then stall. Earlier we talked about how the car can fail to start if the fuel rail pressure sensor goes bad. The worst situation you could face is if the engine stalls and you couldn't restart it. Yet, 
that's possible with the defective fuel rail pressure sensor. When there's not enough fuel to continue combustion, you can expect the engine to starve and shut down. Although in some cars make, manufacturer often prefer to program the ECU to prevent the car from starting all at the event of a failed fuel pressure sensor. To save the driver from hefty repair bill that could emerge due to engine failure stemming from bad fuel pressure sensor. 6. High fuel consumption. The opposite can also be true. If the ECU misinterprets readings from the fuel rail pressure sensor and too much fuel is injected into the system, your vehicle could go through more gas than necessary. While it's probably not going to be extremely noticeable, those who watch the MPG of their vehicle will notice a difference. Even if you have to stop to get fuel 30 miles sooner than normal, that's money you didn't need to spend. 7. Engine surging. Another symptom of a bad fuel pressure sensor is engine surging. This can happen when the sensor is not sending the correct signal to the ECU, and it can cause the engine to rev up and down erratically. This can be a dangerous condition, so it's important to have your car checked as soon as possible. A bad fuel pressure sensor can cause serious problems, and it can even be dangerous. Don't wait until your car breaks down to have it checked, make sure to take care of the problem before it becomes serious. 8. Engine misfires. If your fuel pressure sensor is going bad, one of the first symptoms you'll notice is engine misfires. The engine will run rough, and the car will shake when idling. This symptom is most noticeable when the car is cold, and it will usually go away when the engine warms up. 9. Unburnt fuel and exhaust. When a fuel rail sensor is faulty, it may cause an excessive amount of fuel to be transferred to the engine cylinder. As a result, some fuel remains unburned at the end of each cycle, ultimately ending up in your vehicle's exhaust system. This unburned fuel enters the catalytic converter, impairing its ability to reduce emissions effectively. Furthermore, poor combustion of the air-fuel mixture may take place, which can generate harmful gases that the catalytic converter may not be able to neutralize entirely. 10. Engine underperformance. If you experience a lack of acceleration when pressing the gas pedal, it could indicate an issue with the fuel rail sensor. As discussed earlier, an issue with the fuel pressure sensor may disrupt the optimal engine power output, which directly affects the air-fuel ratio, leading to a clear decrease in your vehicle's power while driving. 11. Sluggish acceleration. Sluggish acceleration is a result of incomplete combustion. When ports are not injecting the correct amount of fuel, the combustion process is compromised. In this case, you'll press your car's gas pedal and feel like it's not accelerating. Or if it is, the rate of acceleration is inadequate. This is often an indication of a bad fuel pressure sensor. A not only can a faulty fuel pressure sensor can supply excess fuel, but it can also limit its quantity, starving the engine. This will cause the engine of your car to underperform. 12. Transmission issues. This may not be applicable to all car makes however, if you suddenly noticed your transmission data no longer shows on your instrument cluster such as PRND. You found error code relating to fuel pressure sensor being bad, then look no further, as this failure of this sensor have the ability to compromise most features in your drivetrain. A quick recap. What's the function of a fuel rail pressure sensor? The fuel rail pressure sensor measures and then regulates fuel pressure in the rail. The fuel rail serves as a primary pipeline, supplying each cylinder with fuel through the injectors. Without this sensor, the fuel injectors wouldn't know how much fuel to provide to the cylinders. At all times, the cylinders must have the perfect balance of fuel and air to ensure proper combustion. The fuel rail pressure sensor tells the ECU how much fuel should be injected, so the air balance can match. When the sensor fails, the wrong amount of fuel or air gets injected because of the miscalculation. Any issues with the air-fuel ratio lead to performance problems. Where is the fuel rail pressure sensor located? The fuel rail pressure sensor can be found on the fuel rail under the hood of your car. It's going to be closer to the intake manifold. If you are having trouble finding it, look in your service manual for a diagram. You can also follow the fuel rail to find it before you reach the injectors. 13. Car starts but won't rev up above 2000 RPMS. If your vehicle starts experiencing a limited revving issues, they are versatile reasons why it may experience restricted to revving limits. A bad fuel rail pressure sensor could be one of the culprit. It is important for you to investigate properly if your car make is equipped with this system as there are other car makes and models that have different issues that may limit their ability to properly rev up to specs. In this regards, inspect every wiring supplying power to the fuel rail pressure sensor in your car. 
as a broken wiring, bent or corroded pins of your fuel rail pressure sensor can result into malfunctioning of your fuel pressure sensor. Now that you know the 13 symptoms of bad fuel rail pressure sensor, give this video a thumbs Subscribe up. Subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification and share this video with others.